Yes, this is a very special dress. In fact, it's the dress I wear the most of all. In fact, I'm mostly in this dress when anyone sees me. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. And I also say you it's my performing dress. You. I always perform How much in, I in, love in the dress. You don't love him anymore. I've always lived in uh, the imaginary world. I think uh, somehow the restriction of having a fundamentalist family uh, led me to live within my own imagination a lot more. Dreaming of possibilities and developing characters. I can feel stronger in character than I do as myself sometimes. Coral says what she wants. I have no words for Coral. She's her own person. Well, this dress came from a country town in uh, Queensland. And I was on uh, travelling up there, and a friend of mine, uh, Annie Lee, was also there. I remember going into this op shop, and uh, there was this dress in the window, uh, this great blue dress, and I thought that would be fantastic for Coral. Anyway, I asked, could I have it for $25? And the woman behind the counter said, what do you think we are, a charity? And I said, well, yes. Actually, I thought, I think you are a charity. And she said, oh, we get all kinds of people like you looking for discounts. And I'm concerned about uh, what's happening in our charity world these days. I mean, we give all these things to the charity, and when we go in there and want to buck off or something, it doesn't happen. I couldn't believe it. I just stood there. I said, I'm offering you $25. And she wouldn't speak to me. She just snubbed her nose and walked away. So early the next morning, uh, Coral went down to the op shop, parked the car, walked up the street, in through the doors. So I was a bit angry and I thought, well, you know, I'll go in there and sort it out. And I thought, when I saw the woman's face, I thought, oh, you know, I'm not going to deal with that one. I didn't even want to go near. I thought, well, how can I get this woman back? Was in there for about oh, five minutes and came out of the shop uh, with a little bit of uh, a bulge around her hips. I've got the dress. Yes, I, you know, I suppose I pinched it, if you want to put it lightly. Uh, the very next day, I went early in the morning to the shop before opening time, uh, put $15 in an envelope under the door with Coral's glove. Well, Coral has her foibles. She has a lot of undealt with stuff, but she chooses not to dwell on it. I can uh, go about a month or two before I need to wash the dress. I mean, you wear good deodorant, you don't have to worry. I have slept in the dress only when I've come home late from the RSL and had a bit too much to drink. And, uh, it all happened actually when I won a, a karaoke contest, won a nice bottle of Spumante, and uh, it was very nice. I shared it with a, with a friend of mine down the road. He had a big beard. <laughs> I mean, it feels very comfy. It, you've got to feel like it's your second skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing a dress. So stick with the same dress, is my advice. Stick with the same clothing for a while and let people get to know you know yourself. The people that I think are most together are the people with the, with the smallest wardrobes. <laughs>